New tonight at 6.30, President Joe Biden says he's making good on his pledge to eliminate hidden fees that cost consumers millions of dollars a year. As Skyler Henry reports, executives from major ticketing and event companies seem to be on board. They joined him today for the announcement. And an agreement. President Biden says it's time to crack down on those hidden fees that sneak into consumer bills and met with some of the executives promising to join that effort. Junk fees are not a matter for the wealthy very much, but they're a matter for working folks like the homes I grew up in. And they can add hundreds of dollars a month and make it harder for families to pay their bills. I think it's just wrong. The meeting at the White House comes four months after the president promised action against so-called junk fees during his State of the Union address. I know how unfair it feels when a company overcharges you and gets away with it. Not anymore. And he was joined on Thursday by executives from private sector companies that offer all in pricing or have agreed to in the coming months. Companies including Live Nation and its Ticketmaster platform, as well as SeatGeek, Airbnb, and some event venues that have committed to eliminating hidden fees. Live Nation came under fire earlier this year for the botched handling of Taylor Swift concert tickets and for including surprise fees. It's now committing to upfront pricing at its venues and through Ticketmaster, making the total cost visible from the start. This is a win for consumers, in my view, and proof that our crackdown on junk fees has real momentum. Live Nation hosts more than 30 million fans at hundreds of U.S. venues and festivals every year. With inflation continuing to plague American families, the White House says ending the unwelcome surprise of hidden fees is a step toward helping consumers manage their money. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. And President Biden has also called for legislation and regulation to end the practice of undisclosed fees.